In this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at uh, setting up LSX to be used with a manual Leica microscope. So to set that up, we're gonna start with going into the LSX hardware configurator. So you can find that either on your desktop, uh, but if you can't find that icon there, we can also find the program just going through the start menu and going to the LSX folder. And right there, we have the LSX hardware configurator. Once in here, uh, we're going to start by going into the hardware setup. This is where we tell the software what type of microscope we have, what, uh, which model. So we go into here and we have a look at this drop down menu here. And we can see that we have a range of Leica microscopes here. So we're just going to go through it and try to find the one that fits our model. And in this case, I'm going to choose the Leica DM2000. That's a uh, upright manual microscope. Um, so I will use this one, but the process of, of configuring this is going to be the same no matter what, uh, which manual microscope from Leica you have. So let's use this one for example. So at this point, um, we could be done, but the only thing to consider is if we have for example, an integrated camera. So Leica has a few cameras that you can integrate into the light path of the, of the microscope. So, um, uh, so for example, the ICC50W is one very popular together with the, uh, uh, with the upright microscopes here. Um, so if you have that, then you would need to take this box. But if you don't, then you leave that uh, like this and we're ready to move on. So I'm just going to go OK. I told the software that we have a DM2000. Uh, so right now we're going to go into the configure part and this is where we uh, configure our microscope. So we tell the, uh, the software what components we have. So right now we have our microscope stand which is the DM2000. Uh, the first thing we're going to go into is going to the ports and this is where we choose our tube. Uh, the easiest thing here when you add components is, is if you have the uh, all the article numbers for all the components that you have on your microscope. So for example here, uh, I know that the tube that I have is the 11501502. So you see that I'm typing it in the search filter uh, and uh, we get, in this case we get two options. I know that this is the one that I have, so I will just double click on this one. And we can see that it, we add that to our component data. So this tube is a is a, a photo tube. So it has two ports. It has one port for the camera and one port for the eyepieces. It has one port state. So that means that it has a fixed split 50-50 to the camera and to the eyepieces. So we have some subcomponents on the ports. We have our visual, this is our eyepieces. So again, we go through, this is not a very long list, so you can probably find your, your eyepiece quite quickly. And I have these ones, I will just double click on this and we have them pop up here. And we move on to the documentation port. This is where we have our camera. So here we have to choose which C-mount adapter we have. Um, so in my case, again, we have a list, uh, it's a bit longer and article number, very easy. You just type it in here. I know that this is the one that I have, the 0.55x uh, magnification. So I will just double click on this and there we go. So that's our ports. Magnification changer always comes in here, uh, but if you don't have any, then you don't really have to do anything here. We can just move on and I don't have one. Incident light turret is also something that always comes up and very often with these uh, more basic upright microscopes you might not have one and again then you don't really need to do anything but if you do have for example fluorescence on your microscope you would add your filter cubes here. We're moving on to the nose piece and for the nose piece here we see our nose piece it has seven position the DM2000 can come with six or seven, but in the hardware configurator, it always shows up with seven. But uh, you basically just add the objectives that you have uh, in here. So the rest will be empty. Uh, and again, here uh, we have a very long list with uh, objectives. So the easiest thing here is to, 
to use the article number but you can also search for other things so for example if I know that I have uh, n plan objectives for example I can search for that and I'm gonna get all the object types of n plan uh, also if I for example know that I have uh, my 40x magnification I'm just type 40 and I get all of them and I can search but if I have an article number I can simply put that in so for example for the 10x objective I have the n plan 10x objectives so I can just type in the, the article number and there it is so I double click on this this I have on position one so I have marked the position one and I add that one it automatically skips to position two so now I need to find the next one so I would type that uh, um, article number in but in this case I'm just gonna scroll down to the end plan and I will add the 20x and the 40x to that and that's that's what I have on this microscope all right so we are almost done uh, now we're gonna add the camera so we go into the camera and in here uh, we can see that it's already with the 0.55 documentation port adapter that we added in ports um, and on this uh, uh, computer I don't really have a camera connected to it so uh, for me I only see demo camera and simulator but if you had your camera connected uh, it would show up here and you basically just double click on that uh, I would just choose demo camera and I double click on that and we'll see that it pops up so that's it I've set up and configured my microscope uh, so I'm ready to just close this down and start LSX to start doing some imaging.